Hello everyone. Welcome to the third episode of Mastering Grafana Report Automation with Scheduler. In my today's video, I will show you how I can export my Grafana dashboard as a PDF report. For this particular demonstration, I have a system performance dashboard and I share this dashboard as a weekly report in a PDF format with my client. In order to do so, I use Scheduler. So let me quickly take you to the Scheduler UI to show you how it's done. For those who are new to this video, in order to create your first report with Scheduler, you need to connect your Grafana with Scheduler, which can be done under the data source section of Scheduler. If you want to learn more about it in the details, you can watch the episode two of the series. So I'll quickly move to the report creation, which you can do by clicking on the create report button, which is present on the top right corner of the screen. I click on it. So you see there are two modes. Uh, what is a visual report and another is a tabular report. Tabular report are like Excel and CSV report. We will talk about these in the later versions of our series. And for this video, we will stick to the visual report since we want it in the PDF format. So I'll click, click on the visual report. And we recommend to start by giving a name to this report. So let me say it is a system performance weekly. I'll start by selecting a data source. Then an organization where my dashboard reside. And then I want to create a report for the tables and charts dashboard. So I quickly choose tables and charts. I click on the next button. Now let's talk about design a little before we proceed. So dashboard snapshot report as name says, it's a snapshot of a dashboard where your report uh, looks exactly like your Rapana dashboard in a one long page PDF. So if you want to give your client uh, the same look and feel of the dashboard without exposing your live dashboard you prefer dashboard snapshot report whereas on the other hand smart layout report are the ones where you can include branded templates custom parameters designs and so on so we'll start with the dashboard snapshot report and cover the smart layout report in our very next video we'll keep on the continue to proceed and we are done so uh, currently my Grafana is light theme, so I'm using light theme over here. If you are using dark theme Grafana, you can also switch to dark theme for a seamless experience. And uh, we have a dashboard time window option. So if you want to show a report as per your dashboard time window, in this case, which is last 24 hours. But if your team keeps on changing this time window for uh, analytical purposes, sometimes three hours, sometimes 15 minutes, and you don't want an inconsistency in the report, and you want to show your client the weekly data, uh, just choose this option, toggle it to no, and select a particular time range that you want. In our case, since it's a weekly report, I go for the last seven days and I click on the save button. So this is just a one-time process. Let me click on the preview to show you how the report would look like. So yeah, as I was saying, this is just a one-time process. You need to set your report once. And uh, as per set schedule, the report will uh, regenerate and put the fresh data and send it to your client automatically. So every step that we do over here is just a one-time process. We'll wait for a while while the report is Now, since the preview of the report has been generated, you can see the preview. It looks exactly like your Grafana dashboard, but it is a PDF. The next process is schedule and distribute, which are, but, uh, which are pretty straightforward. I show you the schedule. So we have a very versatile scheduler that helps you schedule report from hourly to daily to weekly, monthly and yearly basis. So if this is a weekly report, so I go for weekly and I want to see this report uh, when I start working. So let me put it to 10 a.m. in the morning and I want it every Monday. Uh, or maybe say I want it uh, end of every week that what happened uh, across my systems. So I can go for Friday and then I can uh, quickly save a schedule. Then I can distribute this report to my uh, internal teams, to different stakeholders. We have three modes of distribution, which could be email, Slack and S3 buckets. We will cover uh, the, no the, the notification channels in details in our later videos. But I will quickly move to the done and show you how a downloaded copy would look like. So I'll generate a fresh copy of this report. So usually you can see uh, the report is scheduled now for every Friday 10 a.m. So what scheduler will do for you? Once you set up this report once, every Friday at 9 to 9, 
scheduler will trigger and it will generate a fresh copy of this report the report will contain the fresh data and it will be said to the persons or in the recipients basically that are configured in the distribute section of the report now as you see i have a success message that my report is generated i can actually download it it's pretty simple you can click on the pdf icon or you can use this free dot icon to download the report let me show you a downloaded copy so this is how a downloaded pdf look like and it would be uh, there is an attachment in the email or you can send it as a link and we will talk about the distribution in details in our next videos so stay tuned and thank you for watching